What's up everyone, this is Dave LeClaire with MakeUseOf.com and today we are here to review the Chewy Highbox Mini, which is a dual bootable PC that runs both Android 5.1 and Windows 10 out of the box, so you get your choice of OS. Now, we are here to figure out, is it better than a computer that only has one OS? Is this worth spending your hard-earned $130 on? Well, we are going to figure that out, and we're giving one away to one lucky person, so make sure to watch until the end of the video to get your bonus entry code and click the link in the description to go to makeyousof.com and enter to win. So the first thing we need to look at is the specs. You're going to get an Intel Atom X5 quad-core processor, which is a decent processor for a computer of this size, 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM, integrated HD graphics from Intel. Obviously, in a computer this small, you're not going to expect there to be a dedicated graphics card. It also comes with 64 gigs of built-in storage. It has an SD card slot, so you can expand that to up to 128 more gigs if you need it. Comes with Bluetooth 4.0, dual-band Wi-Fi, and the HDMI port on it is 1.4, so you're not going to be able to do 4K 60 frames a second, but the computer is also going to struggle to run anything at 4K 60 frames a second, so that really shouldn't be a problem. So basically, the specs are about on par with what you'd expect for a computer at this price. And they're definitely right up there in, the, in terms of the market with the Intel Compute Stick and the other ones like that, the Kangaroo mobile desktop. So now we need to talk about the really important stuff, and that's the performance of the device itself. When you buy a computer, you want it to perform up to your standards. Now, starting off in Android, it performs quite well. Using the Anuntu 3D Bench, it scored pretty high, mid to high end in terms of processor. For gaming, it recommends running basic games and 3D games at low settings, which is exactly what we would expect from a device like this. You're not going to be running 3D first-person shooters at 60 frames a second, but for basic Android games, it works perfectly. It has all the Android features you would expect, and they all run quite well. We installed Kodi on it, worked fine at 1080p, HD streaming, no problems there. Everything basically worked really well on the Android side. The web browser loaded things up quickly, YouTube videos loaded no problem. It's on Windows where things, unfortunately, do not run quite as well. It scored incredibly low on PC Mark 8. We used their home conventional 3.0 test. It scored a 1036, which is lower than a typical Office PC from 2013. So it's not exactly what you'd call a high-performing device on the Windows side. For casual gaming, which it runs in that test, it scored 6 frames per second. No, I didn't leave off a zero, that's six frames a second, which is quite slow. But on the website loading speed, it worked fast enough. Basic word processing, not a problem. It's just, if you're trying to do anything more advanced than the absolute basics, the Windows side of things is a little bit slow and you might be better off trying to find an alternative Android app that will do the job because it does run better over there. Now this is a standard Windows computer. It has USB ports. So you can plug in your mouse and your keyboard and you can control it like you would any other device. But it also comes with a really cool remote that actually works like a Wiimote. So it has motion sensing. You move it around and you can actually move the mouse cursor on the screen. Or if you're in an app like Kodi, you can just use the up and down arrows to scroll through stuff. So if you just want to do something really quickly and you don't want to pull out your mouse and keyboard, or if you're only using this computer as a media center, this is actually a really nice bonus to have and it comes right in the box. So it's definitely a cool way to control the computer. I wouldn't recommend replacing a mouse and keyboard for daily tasks. You're not going to want to use the on-screen keyboard to type. But for basic stuff, it's quite good. And that brings us to the big question. Should you buy this mini PC? If you're looking for a media center device, I would say the answer is definitely yes. With the option of running Windows and Android, this definitely does the job quite well. Now you're not going to be running PC games or anything on it. And it does run a little bit slow on the Windows side of thing. But if you're looking for a media center where you could just run Kodi and things like that, all that works perfectly on either OS. So this is definitely worth picking up. And make sure to go to makeuseof.com and enter to win. Once again, this is Dave LeClaire with makeuseof.com, and we will see you guys next time.